Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Theo here. Today we are going to do an oil change on the E46 M3. Let's go. Just like any other car, the E46 M3 is a car that needs to have his oil change frequently. Now, because this is the S54 engine and it has rod bearing issues every now and then, it is recommended to change the oil about every 5,000 miles. Now, since I own this car, I've drove it 5,000 miles, so now it's time to do an oil change. Now, last time that I did the oil change, I did not film when I just purchased this car and I used the Liquid Moly 10W60, just like now. So, this car needs about 5.8 quartz so this is a uh, six quarts right here and i purchased it from fcp euro now also whenever you purchase the kit from them it also come with a filter a gasket and the crush washer from the bottom now let's go ahead and tackle this quick uh, oil change pretty simple so let's go the first step is to make sure that you have your car either on jack stand or on ramps you do not have to jack the back just the front is enough because it's going to bend and tilt the car make sure that you know the oil flows properly also make sure that you warm up the engine maybe run it for like five to ten minutes so that the oil is about a little warm and it's going to flow down easily compared to if it is hot or cold when you come under the car this is the bolt right here to loosen now this is a six millimeter allen so go ahead now and untighten that make sure that you also have your drain pan ready to catch the oil for now i pushed it further down just so that i can have access and then i am just going to once you loosen everything make sure that you remove the wrench and then finish on tightening by hand just like that and then oil is going to start dripping shortly so if you did not warm up the car oil will not flow like that now that it is this way we can simply just keep this on the corner this is the screw that i remove remember that this is a crush washer that you do not reuse so go ahead and discard that as you can see it was crushed last time i used now open your filter box and you should have the filter here and also a gasket for the filter itself this is a crush washer that we're going to use on later on this is the one that will replace this one right here so we go ahead and remove this really quick and take that crush washer and literally we simply place it right here now once you we reinstall this one after the oil is drained we will talk it to 18 foot pound of torque while the oil is draining down there you can come on top here pop your hood and we st this is the filter area this is a 13 millimeter bolt that we are going to remove but before we can remove the lead here we need to remove this sensor right here so you see this clip you just push it and pull that like that now take your 13 millimeter socket and remove this screw gently Make sure that when you remove it, you put it in a tower so that you don't have oil dropping anywhere. There you go. The next thing we want to do now is carefully remove the lid. Same procedure. We just remove it and put on a clean towel, on a towel like this. There you go. As you can see, this is the oil. So we'll make sure that we just bring it to the other side. For the filter here, I have this plastic here where I'm going to drop the filter as soon as I remove it just so that i don't mess up anything so as you can see this is a little bit in the way so you might have to bend the filter just a tiny bit while you're removing it and get stuck a little bit like that and easily you drop it to the plastic there you go now that this is like that what i'm going to do is i'm going to use clean towel to kind of you know clean up this area so that i don't have any contamination from the old oil just like that i'm going to use clean rag to kind of extract all the oil that is in there before i insert the new filter now what we have to do is literally remove the crush washer that is here and also remove this little o-ring right here 
Now to remove the o-ring you take a little pick tool like this and you simply pull it out. Only if I can do it. So you take it out or you cut it just like that. You have a new one in there that you're going to replace. So you take the new one which is right here. This is a new one. Make sure the new one is right here. You take a little bit of the new oil, put a little bit of the new oil in like a cup like that. We are going to use that in a second. Just put a little bit of new oil onto the o-ring so that it slides easily. Okay. After it's installed, you also reinstall the crush washer. Take the new crush washer right here. Just up it a little bit of oil and and start it right back in there just like that and now this is ready you can put that old one right there now what we want to do is literally remove this big o-ring right here from the oil filter cap so you take it out like that this is it this is bad so we put here on the corner and we might also take the opportunity to actually clean this but you don't really have to but it's a good practice to actually clean it i don't have any more clean towel so i'm just going to go ahead and put back the new o-ring make sure i dip it a little bit in oil first i always use the new oil just like that and then you reinstall that on the oil filter cap and the oil filter cap is ready one thing that you might also want to do is to make sure that you put a little bit of the new oil onto this area on the new filter right here so you take a little bit and just put it like right here just so that you lubricate a little bit just to make sure that it's not super dry because at the end of the day oil is flowing within all these internals so you just want to make sure you have a little bit of the new oil in there before you go ahead and install everything all right now filter is ready to be installed oil cap is ready oil filter cap is ready to be installed and this one too is ready to be installed so let's go ahead right back into the engine bay and reinstall all of these items i covered this because i didn't want anything to go in there so when you open that you can see here that i did clean up pretty well the oil filter housing here now pretty much what you want to do first is to make sure that you drop in that filter it doesn't really matter which size you go but i just like to put the label of the maker right here on the top male is the maker so you go ahead and drop it you see that when you put a new one it is fairly easy and the old one was expanded a little bit because it was used now what you want to do next is to go ahead and put the oil cap is the oil cap i did not really clean that actually let me use um a little bit of this towel really quick to kind of clean this oil i just don't want to contaminate really quick let me clean that if i may get you guys watching that's exactly how i clean that right there just to the best of my ability really quick here make sure that you drop it in there there you go it's in there nicely now you can take this one make sure that the new o-ring is there the washer the new washer is right there and you carefully place it in there all right you start by you know tightening it with your hands and once you tighten by hand and it's kind of difficult now you would tighten this to 18 foot pound of torque there you go that's 18 and then on the top here it's good on the bottom i'll go ahead now that is stop draining i'm going to go ahead and put back that screw and also tighten that to 18 foot pound of torque what we do now is pretty much fill up so we go ahead and remove this lid right here you can put here on a safe location make sure that we put a funnel so that we don't create a mess and the first bottle that i want to use is simply the five quarts liquid moly right here 
because I know that I'm literally going to put the whole thing and then just a piece of the other bottle. And now let's go ahead and enter the whole five quarts. Now what we want to do is literally put, you know, 0.8. So I'm going to leave it probably like right here and check with the dipstick on the other side, the level after the car is warm and then adjust as needed. Now that we completed the oil change, we also have to reset the light. Now my light was not on because I had about 8,000 miles of, you know, left to complete my oil change this is based on bmw recommendation but i just went and did my oil change prior to that because i want to make sure that my rod bearings are good so if you have the light on and you need to reset the oil service light pretty much what you do is you put your key in put it on the first position which is like this now the second position we usually will have you know more light as you can see this is the second position so we want to go ahead and put that on the first position again after you put on the first position you go ahead and press this button and hold it for about five seconds one two three four five and then after that you go ahead and put your key on the second position and then you see the test when you see the test like that you go ahead and leave it and press one more time one. And now that you have the reset, you go ahead and press one more time. And when it's like that, you leave and press one more time again. And now you are good. So as you can see right here, 15,000 miles is what BMW recommend. And that is definitely not good whenever you have the E46 M3. You need to do it ab about every 5,000 miles. That's why I did mine uh, right now. You saw I had actually 9,600 miles left in order for me to complete the oil change based on the car. All right, thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. Make sure that you leave a comment if you saw that I made any type of mistake during this process. And again, follow me and like this video. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.